I checked out of my hotel yesterday and I spent the night in the neighbor's former neighbor's carport and uh, I'm on the road again. And it's kind of exciting. But it's also kind of nerve-wracking. I'm discovering that I'm I'm the kind of person, maybe everybody's like this. I like to have things settled and know where I'm going. I didn't think I was that way, but I kind of am. It's like, um, you know, I, I sort of have a plan, but I'm just going to go with it. If something better comes along, I'll do that instead. But uh, it gets really nerve-wracking when you come to the end of the day and, like, it's 5 p.m., I'm on the road. I've just left Kelowna and I am heading north. I'm going to make my way towards Jasper, but I don't know where I'm staying tonight. I have a couple of ideas, but uh, no real plan and it makes me a little bit nervous. Um, that's something about van life that it's probably the reason I've, it is the reason that, that I've stayed in um, campgrounds so often know where you are but this time of year it's summer and BC is quite a tourist area um, campgrounds are full so you can't depend on that so uh, sorry just a sec here um, yeah so it is a bit nerve-wracking for me to not know where I'm gonna stay uh, and it's happened a few times now where I've you know, had ideas, but those ideas didn't really work out. Happened in Powell River. I there was a park that I wanted to stay at, parking lot at, at the trailhead to a a beach walk walk along the ocean, and there was nobody there. And I just I don't know. I maybe I'm a follower, but <clears throat> I don't want to stay anywhere if no but if there's no other people staying overnight there as well. I don't want to be in a parking lot all by myself. I feel unsafe. And uh, when there's other people that are sleeping there, you just know that there's somebody else around who will hear you if you get into trouble or something happens, I guess. But uh, anyways, I'm babbling. All right, this is me driving around at nine o'clock at night with nowhere to stay. I'm just such a big chicken when it comes to staying anywhere. I just wish that there was way more van lifers so that there was always somebody somewhere. I just went up to Sun Peaks. I thought maybe I could park in a parking lot like I had done at Mount Washington. Um, but you have to pay at Sun Peaks and reserve. So I'm driving back down Sun Peaks. It was like a 30, 50 trip up there. I Overlander says there's oh shoot I think that was where the I Overlander thing was. Um, I Overlander says there's a, a spot and it was just back there. I gotta find a place to turn around now. It's like a cut block for logging. So anyways always nervous when it gets like this and it's nine o'clock and now that it's getting dark earlier it's getting dark so I'm gonna turn around and see if I can find the place there so please God let there be a place here
Well, I drove for a ways longer and then I turned around and came back to the spot that I had originally seen. And I drove off the road onto the cut block, which is like a logging block where they've been logging the trees. And uh, I got in there and I started to get out of the van. I set up the windows and everything so that I was ready to camp. And as soon as I opened the door, I brought my lift up, I transferred onto my lift and I thought, this is really nice out here. And all the fear went away and I was feeling like I was gonna really enjoy my stay. And then I hit the button for my lift to go down to take me down so I could get my wheelchair out and the lift didn't work. So I had decisions to make and that's all coming up in a second here.